All right, so we're starting here with the Corsair Graphite Series 760T the chassis for my new build. Let's see if we can crack her open here. Um, <laughs> I'm going to attempt to do this with one hand. Hopefully I don't kill myself. And I'm going to... starting off great by cutting towards my body. That's always the right thing to do. Let's do that way here a little bit. Poor knife. Been through a lot with me, so it's kind of she's kind of beat up. This is very difficult to do with one hand. I never, never really thought about it before. All right, so holy crap! <laughs> there we go. All right. Ooh, look at that, it's in a nice little black case and everything. Alright, so we got warranty information. We got. Oh, sorry, that was my finger. I'm trying to get used to filming with the iPhone. Um, let's see what else. Daggone fingers. Uh, let's go ahead and. Yeah, I'm gonna need to put this down to get this out of the. Holy crap, there's a lot. It's a lot thicker than I thought it was. Dang. All right. Um, I'm gonna put this down and be right back. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty right there. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. This is the first gaming machine that I've ever built. So this is new. This is brand new territory. For me. I've, oops, I've built computers before, but never anything on this, uh, this kind of a price, price scale. Yeah, she, uh, she is gorgeous. Look at this thing. Come here, baby. These sides, I don't know. I don't know if it'll show up on the video, but I can sort of see it. Um, these sides are actually. I want to wait. I'm just seeing it. Well, I'm seeing part of it. The sides are actually made out of. Something I can't remember what the uh, what the actual material is called, but they're actually there. You can see a lot better now. They're actually see through, so um, it's not it's not like it's not like glass. It was something else, but the um, the, the end result is that you can see all through almost the entire. You can see it better here. You can see almost through almost the entire side of the of the door, save for like where the handle is. So I'm still not sure how everything's gonna fit together, where it all's gonna where where did where everything's gonna go. Um, but I will figure that out during the assembly piece. So she is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. This is awesome. All right, so E, close her up. I'm going to take some of this tape off and then set her aside, and we'll move on to the next piece. You know, the other day I actually, um, I actually took the time to sit down and figure out what was in all of these packages that I got um, so I could see, you know, what I was waiting for, etc., etc. And for some reason, I'm trying to do this with my right hand while I'm left handed. I don't know why I'm doing that either. Um, but anyway, there we go. Um, I have no idea. I, like, I, I figured it out, but I can't remember what I figured out, and I didn't write it down. So, uh, some of these will be a surprise. Although I know, I remember what this one is. This should be Windows, which it should say on here somewhere. And actually, hopefully, I don't. 
accidentally give the product key away because I don't know where the product key is. Uh, Windows 7 Pro, let's see, is not, there's no product key on there, so yeah, there it is. Windows 7 Pro, if you can see it, it's not focusing, but, um, hello, focus. Well, anyway, um, I also don't know why I'm recording like that, probably because I'm an idiot. Uh, Windows, Windows 7 Pro Service Pack 1 X64, focus, you darn camera. There we go. So, there's that. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Don't know where the product key is, but that's okay. So, so it's actually surprisingly a uh, bland envelope, but anyway, uh, we won't go any further than that right now. We'll just move on to the next piece. If I recall correctly, and it's very possible that I don't, but if I do, then this should be my um, this should be my processor. It is really hard to do this with one hand. Should have gotten like a head mount or something for my for my camera. I'm actually recording with my iPhone uh, because it's got much better picture quality than my uh, than my uh, video camera. But this should be my Core i7. And the full specs of the of this stuff will, will be posted, of course. Yep. There she be. That is a much smaller box than I thought it was whoa crap. Than I thought it was gonna be. This thing open higher. Come on. I love bubble wrap. All right, really? Seriously? You you you're gonna make my life difficult, aren't you? It seems to be the story of my. All right, hang on. Okay, so here she is, the Intel Core i7 uh, i7 5960X to be precise, which I believe was the top of the line Intel at the time. I was looking all this up. Um, other than the uh, the workstation processors, like this was the top of the line i7. Um, eight cores, pretty awesome. Uh, Hyperthreading, of course, you know, all that uh, all that good stuff. So, uh, this, I mean, this was a thousand dollar processor, so I'm expecting it's going to pack a pretty big punch. Small, small package and uh, a nice big wallet to go with it is what I'm hoping. So, let's, uh, that's that sexy little beast, so let's move on to the next piece. Okay, we got another little tiny one here. Let's see what's inside this precious beast. If I can... Oh, come on, you piece of... Nah. That'll work. Oh, do 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 This is actually very difficult. <laughs> I think I said that already. I may have said that already. If I said that already, I apologize. Hey. Great. We got in here. We got. Oh, okay. This is my. Gotcha. This is my hard drive. My um, storage. I have a. I have a solid state. I ordered for the OS, uh, but this is my four terabyte storage. Um, storage drive. I actually. This is a Hitachi, by the way, a Desk Star, which was bought by Western Digital. If you see that now. See that in the corner there, um, which I did not know. Um, I was I was uh, pondering uh, doing uh, getting getting two uh, two terabytes and doing raid um, raid on it, but then I decided to just go with the four because I found a, a good price on it. Um, so seventy two hundred RPM. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the of the really fast ones because they tend they they, they can tend to fail faster but um, I mean that's a that's a chance I'll I'll be willing to take it's just storage mostly um, probably gonna install well I might install the programs on here I don't know we'll we'll, we'll figure it out um, I may go back and get another four terabyte and do um, do raid um, oh 
shoot, I can never remember the daggone great numbers. Um, is it raid zero? Uh, what the mirrored raid? I think it's raid zero. I can never remember those numbers. Um, I really should though. Um, do a mirrored raid just to help with uh, data redundancy and and backups and stuff. But uh, for right now, I'm just gonna stay with the one four terabyte uh, for it pretty much everything but the OS probably at, at this point. It depends on what I feel like doing when I actually get to it. So, so there's that. Alright, we got a much larger one from Amazon this time. Um, or this time of day, I got one from, larger one from, I got a smaller one from Amazon. Uh, <laughs> sorry, it's kind of late. My brain's, uh, brain's going dead on me. Um, let me get this open here. Now this one actually came today, so this should be my speakers, my speakers, um, and some other stuff. There we go. Ding, ding, ding. All right, so I a, holy crap! <laughs> I didn't uh, put too much effort in this one, did they? Amazon's usually oh Amazon's usually pretty good about this kind of stuff. Um, all right, so we've got a couple of things. We got my what the the heck? Oh holy crap! Uh, I got the uh, speakers, but the daggone wireless car. What the heck is this? It was sitting on top of the wireless card. Are you kidding me? Really? Really, Amazon? You... I hope the thing's not busted. Jeez. The, the, the speakers, the sound sticks, um, were sitting on top. Sorry for my fingers. They're sitting on top of the wireless card for some odd reason. I don't know what exactly what gun that was. Anyway, um, use a Harman Kardon uh, Sound Sticks 3, I believe. It doesn't really say on here, but um, they were pretty highly rated speakers. They're a couple years old, uh, but they were fairly highly. Whoa, 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 whoa Bessie. They were fairly highly rated. Um, the sound was really one of the few things I wasn't sure about. Um, about like whether I should get like what speakers I should get and stuff like that. Um, but uh, I finally settled on these after reading some reviews online. Uh, they seem to be fairly robust. They've got Bluetooth, which is kind of nice, even though I probably never use it. Um, so I, I I like the look of them, and they had very nice reviews. So hopefully that will hopefully they will serve me well. This, assuming it still works, I don't know what that jiggling is but yeah assuming it still works is a uh, intel 801 uh, or 80 uh, uh, like i said it's late i can I, I can't talk did i say that already i have no idea that's how late it is um 802.11 ac there we go uh network card so that will come in handy because or wireless card rather um which will come in handy because I can only get wireless up here. I don't have a way to run a cable from my router to my room. Um, what the heck is this? Uh, oh gosh. So this is my... <laughs> wow. What in the world? This is like a little cardboard box. This is my uh, SSD. 500 gigabyte Samsung SSD. I mean, I guess it's solid state, so it's not as shock, uh, shock uh, sensitive. But still, I mean, this is a freaking cardboard box. I mean, really? Mm, whatever. Um, but yeah. So this is where my operating system is gonna go. OS will go on here, and maybe some other stuff as well. But definitely the OS just to improve uh, startup time. And this monstrosity, which is a lot bigger than I anticipated, is a water cooling system. The Corsair H110 Hydro Series. 
which I've never done any water cooling before, so this is going to be a completely new experience for me. I'm going to be reading up a lot about that in this manual. Hope, hope, hopefully there's some, some kind of installation guide, because I got no clue how to set this thing up. Um, can't be that hard, though, so that's going to be interesting. So like I said, I've never actually messed with any of that before. Um, so that is all for right now. This is going to stay right here. I, because it is so freaking heavy, I can't lift it out of the box with one hand. Um, so, on to moving on to the next piece. All right, this is from Tiger Direct. So this should be my motherboard. I guess it was kind of an overstatement to say I didn't remember what was exactly what in every box. Because as I've been going back through them, I figured out that I do kind of remember what's in every box. Because um, I just looked it up recently. You know what? There we go. Um, it's very hard to do this while I'm looking through the camera at the box rather than looking at the box itself and this is probably a bad idea but whatever alright oh, okay, that works uh, what the heck tape on my hands get off um, you know alright so this said should be and yeah. Yep, my motherboard. Is the packer? Oh, yeah. Okay. Um yeah, so the Asus X99 Deluxe motherboard. Pretty stinking looking looking <sighs> looks pretty stinking awesome. Um five five PCI Express slots. Holy crap. Not that I'll ever need that many, but there, there they are, um, and like eight, eight RAM slots. Yeah, this thing is is stinking ridiculous. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, it's the most powerful motherboard I've ever had. Uh, I'm not sure where it ranks among like modern boards, um, but it it's pretty, uh, it's pretty, probably pretty high up there. Um, wait a minute. What the Oh. Well, crap. Ha. Huh. Well, I feel kind of stupid now. This, kids, is why you should always read things before you... This has wireless built-in. 802.11ec built-in. I went and bought a wireless card for this machine. It has wireless built-in. Ha ha ha. Wow. I went and bought a wireless... Nice. Oh well, I got a spare wireless card now. <laughs> which I don't even know if that thing's gonna work. It was packed so uh, roughly. So, uh, well, I guess that's probably a good thing then. <laughs> oh crap! <laughs> yeah, I guess it would have. Uh, guess it would have paid for me to read a little more about this thing before I before I bought all, bought everything. Oh well, well that's that's sweet. I didn't realize I was getting a uh, wireless built in. That's pretty stinking awesome. All right, well let's move on to the next piece. All right, we got some new egg stuff here also. Um, if I'm right, I tried to uh, to buy from several different retailers uh, to get the best possible prices on all my on, on, on everything I wanted to get. Right, this should be. Dang on it! This should be my RAM and graphics card. There we go. Don't play with knives, children. They're bad for you. Uh, <laughs> so this should be what's in here. I also got lots of packing. <laughs> I got lots of packing for you. That's that's the thing. Um, and I got, yes, there we go. Okay, so, got my Corsair, uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, focus, please, thank you, uh, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, and, I was correct, my GE Force piece of awesome, this is D, uh, GDDR4, 4 gigabyte GDDR5. Uh, GE Force GTX 980 
uh, as you can see, I can actually read. Um, <laughs> DirectX, ooh, DirectX 12. Oh, nice. Um, this is like one step below the Titan, I think is what it, is it one step below the Titan? Yeah. Um, which is like the, the, uh, big, the, uh, biggest, baddest card that NVIDIA has out right now. Um, but I didn't feel like spending over a thousand dollars on just the video card itself. So, um, so I went with the 980. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I was going to go ahead and do, um, SLI, but I decided not to, number one, to cut the uh, cost down, and number two, because I really don't need it, at least not right now. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I, that I want to play that's going to pretty much, um, that this card is pretty much going to beast through anyway without SLI, without, you know, the, the, the need for that, so... Um, I may decide to do SLI in the future, but for right now, this is going to be just fine for what I need. So, there is that. Alright, not quite sure what's in this one. Uh, da, 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 what in the world did I do there? Uh, okay. This is, uh, this was one of the, the, um, regular, like, non-store vendors I bought from. Non, uh, like, non-big-name vendors, anyway. Oh, let's see what we got here. Let's, let's go. Oh, this is the, uh, this is the power supply. Sweet. Yep, this is my crap. Massively overpowered <laughs> power supply. Um, the Antec 750 watt. Um, I originally went for this because I was planning on doing SLI. You can actually see it's rated for SLI up there in the in the corner. Um, so it, I originally went for this because of the SLI. I wanted to make sure I had plenty of uh, plenty of juice to run everything. Honestly, um, even though I'm not doing, I ended up not doing SLI. I went ahead and stuck with it. Uh, because I figured that it would it would be ready in case I did end up doing that in the future, so which is all which is all good. Um, you always want to have, uh, in in my opinion, the power supply is one of the most important things. You want to make sure you get a nice a, a nice one, one that's not gonna you know crap out on you. Because I've heard horror stories before of power supplies dying and taking the entire computer with them, uh, or at the very least the motherboard, sometimes the hard drive even, um, just like destroying everything inside. So you definitely don't want to skimp on the power supply. You want to make sure you've got enough power going to it for what you need. And uh, Antec, as I've been told, is a very reliable brand. So um, so that's it for that. I don't know if there's anything. I don't really know a lot about hard drive specs. I don't know if there's anything interesting on the back here. Um, by the way, if anyone's curious, um, none of this stuff is like a sponsored uh, 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 thing. Like, like none of, none of these. I didn't buy any of these things because I was uh, told to buy them or anything like that to make a video out of it and all that stuff. This is all. This is all me. I just decided on what I wanted to buy and went with, went for it. So this is, there's no there's no uh, sponsorship uh, kind of thing going on here. So. Just FYI on that. All right, let's move on to the next piece. And this last piece is the Samsung monitor, um, the the Samsung 24-inch monitor rather uh, that I ordered. It actually came wrapped up with some shrink wrap and bubble wrap, but I had a dickens of a time getting it off with with only one hand, so I went ahead and just took it off. Um, unfortunately, that means there's not really much <laughs> unboxing to show for this one. But um, I like Samsung monitors. Uh, they're, it's, a, it's a pretty simple one. It's a 24 inch, um, you know, 1920 by 1080 LED. Um, I actually have a 40 inch uh, Vizio television that I'm planning on using uh, with the uh, uh, with the computer once once it's um, gets uh, back into use. It's it's kind of out of uh, commission at the moment. Um, so I'm going to put that on once I get that back up and going, but uh, this is going to be the stand-in for right now. Then this will go on my laptop once I get the TV back up here. So, 
Okay, so you may be wondering what's in this box, and you may be wondering why it's on a table, and you may be wondering a lot of things about this part of the video. Um, okay, so here's the here's the uh, shortened version of everything. Um, I had a estimated uh, wattage for my computer figured out before I started buying everything, and uh, as unfortunately, as it so happens, the estimated wattage wasn't quite up to what the actual wattage was and that that's my fault i really should have you know investigated closer and figured out what the actual wattage was going to be and not relied on a, on a calculator um so that was you know that was my bad um but i i found out that my computer is um my computer is going to run about um 770 ish watts and as you may recall the power supply i bought was 750 so obviously that ain't gonna work so I bought another power supply which is what is in this box and it is a as you will see shortly, it is a 900 watt power supply it's still Antec um, because as I think I mentioned in the last video uh, it is very hard to see through this camera while I'm trying to do this um, as I think I mentioned in the Last, dang it. Piece of, there we go. Um, the last video, Antec is, as far as I have been told, a good brand for power supplies. So, get off. Oh, got stuck a little bit there. Right, there we go. Okay, so what we got here. Of course, it's upside down. Um, so, anyway, what I was saying before. Uh, <laughs> It's sitting on a table because I already, I didn't figure out, because I'm dumb and didn't do this before, um, I didn't figure out that my power supply wasn't going to be good enough until I had actually already bought and assembled just about everything, pretty much everything. So, um, so here we are, the table's already set up, which is what I've been doing my assembling on, and you'll see that the pictures of that later on. Um, my voice is actually better, as you may have noticed. I don't sound uh, like crap, as I mentioned. Um, probably going to put something on Facebook about it, but I, I started um, unboxing everything, and I was fine. And then my allergies hit right before I started assembling, and I ended up sounding like crap. So I didn't want to, I didn't want to do any, um, any assembly videos um, because I sounded terrible so it would have been hard anyway with only one hand but I really sounded bad <laughs> so fortunately I'm getting I'm getting better um, my allergies are starting to fade a little bit and I just dropped that which is probably bad so this should 88% uh, max efficiency good 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 so uh, we should be pretty good what is 80% 88% of 90 to 10%. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I can't I can't math right now. It's kind of late. Um anyway, so there she is. I will go ahead and unbox her and add her to the assembly. So uh stay put and I guess this will probably be Yeah, this will probably be the end cap for my unboxing video and so we'll jump right into the assembly next time so thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time bye